Hey what is up guys So today we are going to do a little comparison between RAMs or also known as random access memory and in specific to laptops we are going to find out that do different frequencies in a RAM make a difference when paired together now in front of me you can see the gameplay of Grand Theft Auto 4 now this game in particular is particularly demanding when it comes to higher graphics but I swear it can run on any machine that has some kind of graphics memory in it. Of course it is a game from 2008 but I really have to be honest with you, the, gra the gameplay and the story mode along with the DLCs are really interesting. Now this is my personal laptop, an Acer Aspire 5560 which I featured in a previous video. This particular model contains the AMD A6 processor along with integrated Radeon HD graphics from 2011. Now as you can see here, I have purchased a pair of 4GB DDR3 RAM modules of 1600 MHz supporting dual channel. The ones that came installed in my laptop was a pair of 2GB DDR3 1333 MHz modules in single channel mode, which is almost a decade old. Now as in particular, DDR3 RAM modules come in different frequencies such as DDR3 800MHz being the lowest and I don't know in what kind of ancient machine that was meant to be installed on and all the way up to DDR3 2133MHz which is kind of overkill and I suspect that only those overpriced Alienware machines from back in the day supported those speeds. Now I know some of this may seem like common sense. I will just flash a picture up on the screen right now and you can pause the video to check it out. But RAM modules will always be paired to the correct frequencies. For example, since I want to upgrade this Acer from 4GB to 8GB, I am supposed to install another DDR3 1330 MHz but I decided to go a little higher at DDR3 1600 MHz just to experiment and test and also to show you guys the ultimate guide to buying the correct RAM for your PC or laptop. Now I myself do not know how much my motherboard can handle but I got this pair of 4GB DDR3 1600MHz sticks at a steal of a deal from Alcatron Computers which is an online Indian website. You should really check it out as they offer really good SSD prices as well. Now as I was conducting various tests I noticed something unexpected that while I paired the 2GB DDR3 1333MHz module with a 4GB DDR3 1600MHz module, the laptop was getting a bit of frame drops and even while installing pirate games or softwares, it stopped like this while installing Crisis 3 and experienced crashes like the blue screen of death. But the installation time when it used to take 1 hour on on 4GB of RAM now just took half an hour when I added the extra 8GB of RAM. Now I know that it would have been much better to rather buy a 4GB DDR3 1330MHz stick and just pair it up for a total of 6GB of RAM. But since Amazon was kind of pricey with respect to RAM prices, I just decided, I just decided to check an official website and as I said before, the 4GB 1330MHz was the same as the price of 4GB 1600MHz. So why not? So anyways, here are some lessons you should learn. Always check your laptop memory and the base frequency at which it is, it is running. Always remember to just go ahead and buy the same frequency. If you are really not sure, I would highly advise you to remove the RAM module and inspect it yourself. It is alright to mix up the company from which you are buying the RAM from. For example, you can have dual channel RAM from Crucial and Samsung but you can't have different frequencies for the same. For example, mixing up the frequencies of 1333 MHz and 1600 MHz as they can cause driver issues and maybe refuse to install certain apps or softwares. I can guarantee you that they always say that 1600 MHz will be clocked down to 1333 MHz and that's true but I wouldn't recommend you to do that. I would rather just advise you to get a pair of the same frequencies like I did. You can sometimes jump a frequency like from 
1330 MHz to 1600 MHz or from 1866 MHz to 2130 MHz but their performance difference is just 2% or less but however if you do get a good price on a higher frequency go for it but make sure you buy it in a pair of the same memory and same frequency however bear in mind that only jump of frequency if you feel like you're going to use that PC for long term because it's really not worth investing in expensive parts these days as laptop and GPU prices have skyrocketed mine was an old laptop so I decided to just jump one frequency but you can never know that your laptop may support the highest frequency of DDR3 at 2130 MHz. That will always remain a mystery to us as it was not available or it was overpriced. Anyway, so I hope you managed to get a bit of knowledge from this experiment and be sure to let me know if you have any questions. You can always ask them down in the comments below and as always, stay safe and invest in only what's needed. Peace out.